Hey guys and girls, my name's the Chair Potato, but you can call me Christian, and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Now, as you can see, I've already played this game all the way through. I've almost 100%ed it on my uh, my first character. But what I wanted to do today was um, I wanted to make like a completely evil character since I've never actually seen like all the interactions between all the uh, the characters and stuff in the game with an evil character. I heard that there's some pretty funny things that go on. So I'm actually really, really excited. I want to see like what kind of things we can get mm. into, what kind of shenanigans we can get into and uh, what kind of evil uh, magic we can get into. I believe they call it dark magic in this game. So I want to invest in, you know, check out the dark magic spells a little bit since I didn't really get to in my first try, uh, my first playthrough. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, start right up. Get into some evil, dastardly, bastardly deeds. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as as a fifth year student. Term big term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. <clears throat> as you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. All right, let's get into it, guys. Oh, right, we got to make a character first. What should we make, a girl or a guy? Uh, we'll, we'll make a girl, actually. Why not? I don't usually make girl characters, but I don't know. For some reason, I want her to look like really pretty and be like a complete bitch. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll keep this hairdo. Why not? Um, give her like a badass scar. Or give her one that's like more noticeable. Yeah, like that one looks pretty cool because she's got the hair going down the other side of her face. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Uh, she sounds like she's 12. and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. Yeah, we'll give her this one. Um, we're also gonna go on hard difficulty as well, because I didn't do that with my first uh, with my first playthrough. All right, let's name her. And I th I'm thinking Veronica. She looks like a Veronica to me. Veronica, and then her last name's gonna be Cunt. <laughs> Veronica Cunt. All right, she's a witch. All right, let's do it. Veronica Cunt. <laughs> oh man this is gonna be fun man i hope you guys are excited i know i am ah, well i'm quite sure i've never seen anyone take Professor. so quickly to a secondhand wand you'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get why is own. it a secondhand wand what Thank makes you, it so Professor. secondhand i appreciate you working with me before town began oh <laughs> eliazar george Glad my rather cryptic description of our oh, location has not thought you're finding us. I've operated to uh, more than Elazar in the beginning. Than this. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I best not speak here, Eliazar. Hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages Not at since all, I've sir. been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Get in the carriage, man. Let's go. We got magic to learn. And dark magic. <laughs> Where the hell is this guy again? Oh, that's Rook, I think, right? The owl's just chilling back there. Just barely. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> it's fucked up. He doesn't give you a compliment have and you, you just this? roast him like that? Oh, Ranrock. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. 
Although I've yet to convince my colleagues little goblin. at the ministry, I believe he is a uh -oh. significant threat. I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. How mysterious. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? Are you sort of dragging the new student into the ship? Nor do I. I haven't even gotten to Hogwarts yet. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? Merlin's beard. <laughs> oh, and there he goes. He's fucking dead. That shit's terrifying, man. Man, that is loud. Oh, so I'm, yeah, so those um, those things only pop up when your character sees death. So that's cool how they pop in at that moment, you know, because you just saw the other guy just get eaten. What are they called? Like Thestrals, I think. We'll learn about them during this playthrough, but I think they're called Thestrals. Flying death horses. What a crazy way to open the game. Teach you about the main enemy in the game. A little bit of mystery, death. All this in the first five minutes. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Kind of looks sus. Like some radioactive sewage or something, but yeah, sure, I'll drink it. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> Where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Yeah, the port keys in this game are cool. They really bring you to a lot of sick locations, like, throughout the story in this game. Is, uh, it's kind of crazy how you can't come back to these spots, though, later on. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Yeah, look how sick this is, man. Such cool environments and scenes in this game. Absolutely beautiful. Can take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The walkie was meant to lead us there. I do. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Bitch, I'm faded, faded, faded. Bitch, I'm faded. Is that ice? Is Venom it's here? It's not cold enough here. Just finished our Spider-Man Let's Play. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Like in Someone its entirety. Wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. What the hell do you want Focus me to cast on, on it? On the center. Oh, just a basic cast, huh? Excellent. I'm cool with the base settings. Oh, down we go. Now I got a whole bunch of dirt that and shit up my skirt. Rougher than I'd or my dress. I'm surprised somebody your age is able We're to climb it's all these cliffs. Ahead. You're in pretty good shape, Professor Fig. It's so gorgeous, man. Steady yourself! Such a gorgeous game. Repair! So cool. Like, I'm happy to see, well, I was happy to see, like, when I played it the first time, that, you know, they actually made a Harry Potter oh, game that there. looks good and does capture the essence of Harry Potter. Because usually, the, like, and has quality. So, like, usually they don't have all three. 
Harry Potter games usually look like potato games. Mad polygonal and usually the story kind of stinks, but the story in this game is good. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. What's this? Professor Fig! By God, that's Hogwarts. Damn, he moves quick. How odd. Very spry Why for an old man. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Alright, stand back, Professor. What in Merlin's name? Is like Got Merlin like Jesus for you guys? Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Keep clearing your throat a little bit louder. There you go, that always works. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. So, was the key originally, like, a vault key, and then she just enchanted it with something to make it a port key, or was it always a port key? After you. These are the things they don't really explain. You got some big-ass hands, by the way, man. You stay away from me with those, those dick grabbers. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose. Now these are always some of the coolest scenes in this game, man. These like little these like little mine cart scenes. Oh, it's gonna skip it. Oh no it's not. Okay, cool. Yeah, this shit's cool. It's like a roller coaster. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vault is now in the midst. Our so private cool. entrances to the bank common at Gringotts. They are most uncommon. Only when we greet well for power or both could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the love tunnels that we're passing now. How do you want to go? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've so quite sick. a distance to go. Whee! Put your hands up. Oh, okay, that's it. Vault number Vault 12. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. What was that little sash he had on his, uh, on his arm? It's glowing. And he's out of here. I'm gonna go let his master know. Yeah, I just noticed that too. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore.
When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Such a cool vault location. It's like on its own. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. So yeah, if you guys couldn't tell already, I kind of ran out of games to play, which is why we're playing this. But I do love this game, so I and I really did also want to like do like an evil let's play of it. Um, what do you suppose so yeah, we should be looking That's exactly for? what we're gonna do. I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy, you schmuck. Best of luck. <sighs> There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. There we go. Got our first spell. Rebellion. Or charm, rather. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. We got a door. A door? Well, that's a start. There's just nothing else in this vault. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, but wait. I, you see a way to... we I come do, back Professor. here? That There's a chest right the there. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say you are about to discover the secret of this world. Lead the way. All right, don't mind if I do. Who turned out the lights? Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. A little bit of ancient magic. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? How magical. I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. All right, here we go, gonna learn Lumos. Easy enough. It's just an A, but without the middle, the little middle thingy. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Enemies. Potato. You're nasty, Professor Fig. Did I dodge yet? No, I can't. Ow! How did that not kill me? Stay away from him. Get away from my professor. You would think that one of these big ass swords would chop me right in half. Yeah. 
Yeah, the combat gets really fun in this game, guys. Like, especially later on when you get a whole bunch of spells. You can just like mix and match spells and combo them together. Stay close! I'm not going anywhere. Uh-oh. Damn, it gets dark Professor? in here, bro. You see that? Professor Fig. Holy shit. Professor, where are you? Now, what spell is this that she's using to cause the, uh... Um... I suppose I'm on my own this time. So I need them all to do it. No I'm going to have to fight you. Yeah, I wish I had more spells. That'd be cool. Yeah, why does that last hit do so much damage? Alright, what do we have here? Some kind of gate? How mysterious. base in here. Some kind of tear-shaped vessel in the center. Uh, oh, hey there. There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. And yep, just drown yourself. Who's this old fart? All is in and this fat guy. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. What, prove it? Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I it's don't in the know. Bank. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I yes. was right. Ranrock. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. What a humble, gentle <coughs> goblin. Uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. No. Be gone. Oof. I, I heard that no crunch. Patience for traitors. 
now. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Yeah, I wouldn't count on it. Yeah, that's sick. So, like, he doesn't need a wand. Which apparently, I think, is, like, forbidden in Harry Potter lore to, like, do magic without a wand. Oh, shit. Defense mechanism. Smite them. You missed. Got the wind knocked out of you, Professor. You better watch out. He's gonna fall on you. Like Vegeta when Great Ape Gohan just falls on him. <laughs> oh, you better go. And we out that bitch. Yeah, let Ranrock deal with that. Right? Fine, sir. He's a strong I've never little seen man. So powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yes, and we are late as shit. Just like I am for basically everything in my life. <laughs> so pretty, man. This game is so cinematic. There she is. Beautiful Hogwarts. That was kind of chonky. It's a chonky, thick boy. Hogwarts Legacy. We have made it, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm going to try my best to get into Slytherin. But I think you can, like, like if you don't get the house that you want, I think you can, like, kind of back out. Oh, and good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Like, re -ask, like, re answer the questions again. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. How are you not now, an expert? Don't you work here? I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Ready as I'll ever be. Oh, that's right, this dickhead. Oh. Back into the shadows. Phineas Nigellus Black. Why do you say his Prepare last name like that? To meet <laughs> the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. This guy is kind of funny, though. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Yeah, send an owl my way. Why are there so many Slytherins? Why do Slytherins get two tables? Gryffindor will only get one. And Professor then, Weasley! Not Hufflepuff, but the other sorted. one. Ravenclaw? I think Ravenclaw is the fourth Welcome. one, right? You're just in time. They only get one. Have I don't see any no Hufflepuffs here. Overload. Ah, yes. Yeah. 
Lucas, a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and I love preconceptions. The music. So Harry Potter. Certain expectations. Can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder. I wonder if the hat has mm. the same voice actor who was in the I movies. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Definitely very similar. Mm. What is it? Evil. We'll go with ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. You would be Perhaps right. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Aha, yes I do. Nice, yup. The Sorting Hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Slytherin house known for cunning ambition and hunger for power. We're going to accept it. That's where we want to go. We're going to Slytherin, baby. That's where we belong. That's where all the evil you schmucks go. You belong in Slytherin! Damn straight. We got two tables here. Oh, my, my little cloak is caught on the, the stool. What up, homies? Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Yeah, that's something that's super lame. Like, you don't get to play no Quidditch Enough. in this game. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Huh? Now I wonder if they like I teach said, like I'm sure you all have plenty to do before like classes begin tomorrow. Normal academic classes, math, science, that kind of shit. I wonder if it is just like all magic here. Cuz these are just like kids. Quite an entrance. Teens. It's lovely to meet you. Teens and I'm kids. Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Like Harry Potter, when he got like when he went through the sorting ceremony, he was saying, like twelve or something, eleven, maybe even ten. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. All these kids as looked like they were head, teens. Mistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Bring me to where the snakes live. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. So sick. I love that. Now, of all the entrances to the, the dorm rooms in this game, well that one's got to be the coolest. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. It's like Gryffindor is like behind Thank a painting. You, Professor Weasley. Hufflepuff You're is welcome. like behind like some barrel enjoy of your mead. First night at Hogwarts. And Ravenclaw is just a, a regular door. <laughs> With like a weird lock on it. God, look how pretty this game is, man. So gorgeous. All right, day one at Escuela. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Now you can like break into other people's rooms and steal their shit. Thanks for the money, chump. I need that money. Steal this guy's shit. I'm already doing some thieving. We got our first hundred Hogwarts dollars, whatever the hell you call them. Or is it just gold pieces? I was gonna say like pokey coins for a second. But we ain't playing Pokemon. No. Can now this is the you? guy where we learn dark oh. magic with. You're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, 
Impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. Ugh, not going to move Melda. there, are you? Yeah, she's a bitch. Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Check she's me. usually involved with the uh, the flight you. racing in this game. So there's like these broom broomstick flight races you can do. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Veronica Cunt. Interesting Cunt. tactic on uh, your, your first service. day. <laughs> taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Imelda, by the way. I didn't Shame even see I any with first you years. Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Yep, already bragging. We, had we it handled. handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Uh, Goodbye, right then. Imelda. Nice meeting you. Man, this is Sebastian's friend. I, I think I heard one. You didn't hear shit. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. Yeah, it's so it cool, man. They get Ominous. like... An Pendo underwater first years dorm room. For hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Now you've got to turn your head and shout out. You're just gonna kind of shout into the void. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've Damn been dreaming straight. of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Dude, they're four years Especially ahead of me. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Owls. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster kind of and the up. Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary. What if to I want to go into carpentry? Success. I mean, I'm sure that's a thing wizards do, right? You got to build wizards' houses and here stuff somehow. I don't know. What if I wanted to just make an OnlyFans? I guess I can use Levioso on the camera. <laughs> Such a purdy book. You would be wise to take full advantage. Yeah, my of hands are dry, man. I gotta throw some CeraVe results. on there. CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVasosa. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. This way. Why don't you cast Revelio on Revelio. that statue and see what details the field guide can use? The Kelpie statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain. That's terrifying. So sick, man. I love that so much. And it slithers back underneath the floor. It's cool and gross at the same time. Are right, you going to show me how to use this? Ah! Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Map and travel to the Central Hall flu flame. There we go. 
We off. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Cross Station, that Cross Station. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, thank, thank you, you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments. Always a you Weasley at Hogwarts. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd so say if you guys didn't Fitz notice, succeeded in at least showing you see, the I believe, is a distant relative He's of been Ron Weasley. Vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, there I'm isn't. Sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to skip of the that. Devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. All right, guys, that is where I'm going to leave this first episode of Hogwarts Legacy, the evil Let's Play. Um, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon for episode two. Have a good one. What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. We're in the wrong way. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, not the swirly! About to fucking die. Oh shit! God damn! Oh god! Oh! Let me the fuck out! What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Now you're scanned. Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! Uh, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Whoa! No fucking way! No way! Whoa! We got the fucking Blade of Olympus? What the fuck? Love that for us. What in the fuck? What the hell is that? 